Well, good evening, everybody, and a very warm welcome to our evening prayers on this Wednesday evening, Wednesday the 27th of May. It's really good if you can join me for some prayers this evening. As always, you can follow along using the Daily Prayer app or by following the link in the post. Let's take a moment of quiet just as we begin our prayers. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To you be glory and praise forever. Raised to your right hand on high, the ascended Christ shows the prince of love and bestows on us the gifts of grace. As your Spirit renews the face of the earth, may we bring forth the fruit of the Spirit and reveal your glory in all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. I have two psalms this evening, Psalm 36 and Psalm 46. Psalm 36 and 46. So Psalm... 36. I have a message from God in my heart concerning the sinfulness of the wicked. There is no fear of God before their eyes. In their own eyes they flatter themselves too much to detect or hate their sin. The words of their mouths are wicked and deceitful. They fail to act wisely or do good. Even on their beds they plot evil. They commit themselves to a sinful course and do not reject what is wrong. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love. O oh God, people take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast in the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delight, for with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Continue your love to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the foot of the proud not come against me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evildoers lie fallen, thrown down, not able to rise. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. 
the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. We're right at the end of that book now. Deuteronomy chapter 31. Verses 30, starting at verse 30 and reading through to 32, 14. The Song of Moses. Deuteronomy 31 starting at verse 30. And Moses recited the words of this song from beginning to end in the hearing of the whole assembly of Israel. Listen, you heavens, and I will speak. Hear, you earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching fall like rain, and my words descend like dew, like showers on new grass, like abundant rain on tender plants. I will proclaim the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the greatness of our God. He is the rock, his works are perfect, and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just is he. They are corrupt and not his children. To their shame, they are a warped and crooked generation. Is this the way you repay the Lord, you foolish and unwise people? Is he not your father, your creator, who made you and formed you? Remember the days of old. Consider the generations long past. Ask your fathers, ask your father and he will tell you, your elders, and they will explain to you. When the Most High gave the nations their inheritance, when he divided all mankind, he set up boundaries for the peoples according to the number of the sons of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob his allotted inheritance. In a desert land he found him, in a barren and howling waste. He shielded him and cared for him. He guarded him as the apple of his eye. Like an eagle that stirs up its nest and hovers over its young, that spreads its wings to catch them and carries them on its pinions, the Lord alone led him. No foreign god was with him. He made him ride on the heights of the land and fed him with the fruit of the fields. He nourished him with honey from the rock and with oil from the flinty crag, with curds and milk from herd and flock and with fattened lambs and goats, with choice rams of Bashan and the finest grains of wheat. You drank the foaming blood of the grape. And the New Testament reading is from the first letter of John. 1 John chapter 3, starting at verse 11. 1 John 3, 11 to the end. For this is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Do not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he mur murder him? Because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. Do not be surprised, my brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates a brother or sister is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life residing in him. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, 
but with actions and in truth. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence if our hearts condemn us. We know that God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence from God and receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commands and do what pleases him. And this is his command, to believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and to love one another as he commanded us. The one who keeps God's commands lives in him and he in them. And this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the Spirit he gave us. When you send forth your Spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. You renew the face of the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. The Song of Mary the Magnificat How excellent is your name in all the world! You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia! My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. How excellent is your name in all the world! You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. So we come to our time of prayers of intercession. We pray for peace. We pray for individuals and their needs, for the needs of our world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and that we can come before you in prayer. We ask that you'd help us to pray this day and each day, especially in the next coming days of thy kingdom come. We lift up to you people on our hearts who we long to see come to know you. In a moment of quiet, quiet, you might like to name in your heart up to five people that you would like to become Christians. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our schools particularly those opening on the 1st of June. We pray for all teaching staff, for heads and for other staff at the schools. We pray for pupils returning, initially those in reception or year one or year year six. We pray for those who are returning. We pray for those who are unable to return. We ask your blessing upon them all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for our local care homes, for all who live in them, for all who work there. Lord, bring your protection and your peace and comfort those who are isolated. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all those known to us in particular need of your healing and your strength at this time. Pray for those on our prayer list at church on the email list, 
pray for friends and family members and neighbours and we ask for your healing to go forth in the name of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we remember before you those who have died and we pray for those arranging funerals at this time that you would bring your comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Collect the Special Prayer for today. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Well, thank you everybody for joining us for evening prayer. Uh, morning prayer tomorrow will be at a slightly different time. I've got a uh, tax phone call at 8.30. So I'll either do prayers before then, um, so they'll be up at 8.15 or I'll, I might go afterwards. Um, but there'll be some prayers going up at some point tomorrow morning. Have a good evening. Take care. God bless.